Man United owners the Glazers have already set selling purse as Norwich protests planned. Manchester United's owners the Glazers are currently in the spotlight ahead of Saturday's Premier League showdown with Norwich City. New protests are planned against the Americans, who have overseen nine years of issues at Old Trafford. So, with that being the case, it's time to take a look back at 12 months ago and their position on selling the club. Manchester United fans have staged a protest at Carrington this week as they grow increasingly angry at the Glazers' regime. Unfortunately for those supporters, however, there's little chance of the Americans selling up at the current moment in time. Last year, after the failed European Super League plot, the Glazers faced a backlash like never before. Fans made it clear what they thought of Avram and Joel, calling on the pair to resign after they'd attempted to change the landscape of English football. And, around that time, FOOTBALL365 said the duo would want a fee in the region of £3.5 billion to let go of the club. In fact, it was even claimed they could demand as much as £4 billion to sell United in order to make even more of a profit. Think you know sport? Test your sporting knowledge with our tricky quiz a year on, and precious little has changed. The Glazers may even up their price tag to sell the club due to the fact Chelsea are on the market for a similar price. United did hold talks with a Saudi Arabian consortium back in 2019, where they inquired about the overall cost of taking control of the Red Devils. But the Glazers gave them short shrift, making it clear they weren't parting ways with their precious asset. United go up against Norwich City on Saturday, hoping to get their Premier League campaign back on track. Yet fans are going to protest during the showdown as they hope for a better future ahead. Don't miss Ronaldo has hinted at what he wants as Man United I Ten Hag Anthony comments suggest Ten Hag reunion at Man United is possible Man United's best eye for next season, if Ten Hag signs three players, they've already made their stance clear at Carrington, turning up the club's training ground on Friday morning. But this will likely be bigger as United grow tired of the Glazers and their running of the club ever since they took charge back in 2005. Speaking about the protests on Friday, United interim boss Ralph Rangnick admitted he understands the feelings of fans on this matter. We all know that football is a game of passion and emotion said the 63-year-old. I think we can all understand, and I can understand, that our supporters are disappointed, both about where we stand in the table, but also about performances. Want the latest football news? Join our brand new Facebook group by clicking here, but I still believe that our supporters are one of the best, if not the best, in England, and as long as they do that protest in a peaceful way, and as long as they still support the team in the stadium, I think they have the right to express their opinion. As I said, emotionally, I can understand why they are disappointed. United released a statement about the protests on Friday that read, There was a small and peaceful protest outside the Carrington training ground today. We respect the opinions of fans and remain committed to strengthening our engagement with them. Rangnick also shut down suggestions that United players were struggling to be motivated as the end of the season nears. That motivation shouldn't be a problem at a club like Manchester United, the players should always have an eternal level of motivation, said Rangnick. But if I look at the Everton game, until that first shot we were in control of the game. That changed the atmosphere in the stadium, but it also changed a little bit our energy level, and this is what should not happen, even if you concede a goal. That can happen in football, with a deflected shot, but you should still be aware that we are the better team, we have better players and we can dominate the game. But it wasn't the case and it's got to do, probably, with confidence you may call it motivation.